Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my favorites series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite PlayStation 3 games. I was a late adopter of PlayStation 3, and it's mainly because I was unemployed at the time. Um, I just recently lost my job, and I, I tell you, that thing was expensive out the gate. And I just, I couldn't afford it. I had a house, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a car payment and, and, and stuff, and it was just like, there was no way. I was, no way I was going to be able to afford such an expensive console. So I waited a few years. And I waited a few years, and I waited a few years. And once the price finally dropped down to where I could afford it, I grabbed one as fast as I could. Um, so, you know, doing that, it let me sit back and watch and see all of the great games coming out for the PlayStation 3 and make educated decisions on what I wanted. And looking back on it now, I don't think I would have wanted to experience the PlayStation 3 any other way. So these are my favorite PlayStation 3 games. They're not in any really big particular order. Some of the games um, that are my favorites for other things I've excluded from this list, like Dragon's Crown. Um, it, is, it is still one of my favorite games, but I'm just going to keep it off this list because I've talked about it too much already. Um, so here we go. The first one up is Batman Arkham City, released 2011 uh, by WB Games. Guys, I'm a Batman fan. This game right. makes you feel like Batman. This may, game it, man. Um, makes it where you're running through and you're solving it's all of the crimes me. and solving the riddles from the Riddler and all of this other stuff. The combat system flows really great. And I'm, I'm going to come back to this game eventually and do a truly in-depth review of this game. So next up, uh, we're going to visit Dante's Inferno, released 2010 by Electronic Arts. This was like one of my first mature games that I purchased um, that had some really racy themes to it. And... I'm going to try my best on my YouTube video here to not show anything too bad on it, but, you know, this this is a, a heavily rated game, but it was, uh, you know, that coupled with the, the story of, you know, that it's based on and how it's just basically a classic. And it had a really good combat system. Uh, the enemies were fun to interact with and destroy, and stuff like that. It was just a really fun experience all around. Next up, the Dynasty Warriors Gundam series, released 2007 by Koei Tecmo. I'm a Gundam fan. Now, I might not know and like every one of the Gundam series, but, you know, I. I like big robots. Let's just put that out as a complete generic statement. Now, if they had done a Dynasty Warriors big robot thing with Voltron and all of the other big robots and stuff that were very popular at the time, with, you know, I would have gone for that too. But this is what we had was Dynasty Warriors Gundam, and they did a great job with it. They took Dynasty Warriors they put parts on with it, where you had to get legs, and you had to get arms, and you had to get a chest piece, and you got specific weapons and stuff like that. You basically built a Gundam out of these parts and stuff to go out and battle Dynasty Warriors style. And guys, it works. It works really well. And they released... Dynasty Warriors Gundam 1, 2, and 3 on the PlayStation 3. It works. It works really, really well. So if you know if you see one out in the wild somewhere and it's for a fairly decent price, just pick it up. It's it's mindless fun. You don't have to invest too much of too much brain power into it, other than like 
designing uh, your Gundam to do what you want it to do in combat. Speaking of mindless fun, the Overlord series released 2008 by Codemasters. This game is hilarious. Uh, people, people reference it as the evil Pikmin. They're not wrong. They're not wrong. Um, you're playing the bad guy. And you're controlling these goblins. And some of them are specialized on what they do. And you're terrorizing people. Um, and, you know, you might even terrorize other villains in this series. But it's it's great. It's so much fun. And, and the... The, the chatter that the goblins have is so entertaining and it, it uh, let me put it to you this way it was so hilarious i had played the you know one of the games and, and my dad witnessed me playing it was so hilarious he turned around and bought me another one of the games so that he could continue to be entertained by what was happening while i was playing the game so it's it's a great series. It's very tongue in cheek, and it's worth your time. Speaking of another game that is definitely worth your time, the Ratchet and Clank Collection, released 2012 by Sony uh, Interactive Entertainment, and I love Ratchet and Clank. Can't say enough about it. I love the world love the whole tiny cheek part of it um just that that level of comedy just gets to me i love it uh, i love the weapons i love mr zircon and how he his commentary during play and guys just just don't miss out on ratchet and clay I honestly don't miss out on any of these games that i've been at least go back give them a try they're worth at least five or ten minutes to see if they tickle your fancy. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.